resynchronization. I got a little bit of a sore throat and a head cold. My brother said it was all the uh, all the uh, dry air from the air conditioning. That may be it was a little bit colder set. Nobody really fucks with stuff like that whenever your house is full of people and people are coming through and doing stuff and such. It was very nice. It was very nice. I got to see my uncle that I haven't really seen all that much in my life. I mean, I've seen him around, but we didn't ever really get and sit and talk ever until just recently. A lot of interesting stuff. You learn a lot of stuff when you listen to the older people in your families that you don't know. And you don't want to hear all their shit whenever you're young. It's not really the type of information you're set up for when you're young. When you get older and you can appreciate it, you can understand where they're coming from a little better. Then you're a better receptacle for that type of information. So it's really nice. My stepdad came and he had brought a guy that was a buddy of his that he'd found. And he had a difficult time getting around, but he had some sort of wheel walker thing that if he could get it wherever he was at, he could walk and be fine. But basically his legs just didn't work worth a fuck. Not for walking or doing nothing like that. So we followed with him and made sure he had everything he needed and got him around while he was in those areas. So it was pretty fun. I always kind of enjoy taking the sentiment that people have and using it in the area that they're leaving out of, modifying it a little bit for the person that's next in line or in the flow and really getting something tangible out of that. Although there is nothing tangible in it, I have found that is not really the case. When you put, you put your care out to accommodate people in a host sort of way, like I'm doing this thing, then you have a real situation of growth. But were I to guess on why that is the case, because in events that it's not about you or any of the things that you're doing, and it's just sort of a thing that's already... Well, that's great. Look at this one. Well, I gotta answer it. Answer. Are you there? Can I get my face back? Am I a bird back too? Are you darking me out so I can't be a bird? That's just not right. So yeah, I talk like the bird like this. It's just what I do. This is what happened. I had to answer the call because the call was Donna K. Donna K was friend with my dad more than any fucking friend he ever had. And he loved that lady. She's very upset about missing him. She lives somewhere near the beach in Houston, close to, has invited me to go over there. Likes to talk, can talk your ass off. Doesn't really always fully receive backwards the, the stuff that you're responding with. You know, some people are like that. You, you try to tell them something or you, you converse with them. And they're not trying to hear what you have to say. They're still trying to tell you something and make you sure that you have the point that it occurred. There's Bird. Bird moved away. And she had her phone number. She's a friend of mine. And don't really know if her phone was working or not. Because if you change to a different area, it's likely that you'll change your phone number. You want to have local people to call you. I mean, that's more of an old style thing, but were you to move in the old times, you know, more older times than what recent born adults of this world can understand, because you can call anybody you want on the phones now. It's not a big deal. There's no long distance. There used to be long distance, and it would charge your ass, and you couldn't deal with it and have a phone if you didn't 
stay within the area code. It's not such a big deal now, but in the before times it was. Because if you had a long distance area code and you were local, then what the fuck are you going to do with that? It's not good. No one's going to be able to call you like that. So everything did go pretty well. Not that I have too much to say about all that. I just wanted to make the video out and put it out there that it all went well. Let the people that didn't make it some know it all went well. And that's pretty much it. Today I have to clean up the rest of the mess from having such an adventure in people that it's just the way it is. And it's pretty good. It's not that big of a deal. I feel good about it. I think my dad would, have, would be happy. He would look upon it and be happy. I'm not so upset about uh, the loss of him now, as I know that it's natural, that, you know, what's going to happen, I didn't have any illusion to that. I still miss him. I wish in the day-to-day -day life and the experiences I had with him that he would still be around and I could still be here with him doing stuff for him and with him. I tried to get as much out of the experience of having my dad together with him in my life with the mindset of correcting some of the missing dad things that I had going on. My stepdad, he came yesterday too. You know, you wouldn't notice it, but I'm having to re-record because just out of the blue, the rest of that audio is gone. Just, I listened to it for a minute. I'm sitting here, I'm looking at it. I'm like, where's the fucking audio? You know, I wasn't saying anything really important. I don't really know how it happens, though. What has occurred with my phone has been about me. Not to say I did something wrong with the phone or messed it up. But I had some problems with it that I immediately owned myself. And I don't know exactly how or why it does what it does when it like stops charging right but it's just now barely getting a charge back after this last event now most of the time that I would have been struggling with the phone because it wouldn't be holding a charge turning it on was early in the morning and I misplaced it which caused me to have the issue either way it would be the same problem you don't have a phone i set it up on top of this box my nephew helped me find it but i knew i had it because i'd went to the restroom and had it and then i was going to plug it in but i was still asleep and it was nighttime so i don't remember anything else other than looking around my bed area and then finally dumping the bed upside down so i could if anything was on it i couldn't see the fallout and I, it didn't take that long, but it was quite common because these phones are very dark. And in the right conditions, and especially if you pulled out all your dad's old phones, they don't work. They're all around. Now, my nephew is very good because he's like me. I was able to take him into my messy old room where I'd been just taking and storing stuff back there. And when I, when we both got in there and I went ahead of him, I could see from his way he looked around at things that he had what I had going on. And I've already known this about him, that he's attentive, he's present. Now my brother, who I love dearly, I don't have much problems with at all. The only issue that I had in this case was that I needed to put part of myself through the house, go through it, move this big ass TV into there so I could play that video that has my dad on the news, which I probably ought to put on the end of here, which is pretty cool. It would be nice. So I think I'll do that right now that I'm sitting here and I'm putting all this shit back together. <laughs> Feels, I still feel pretty good. I don't have much to have to do today because I, everything I did was yesterday. So I'm just going to regroup myself. And, and right now I'm going to put that 
I'm going to get a piece of that video onto the end of this so that it can be shown and shared because it's actually no actually I won't because what had actually happened was I had to put in some of the mu the music CDs to see if they would play for some people that I sold some of my dad CDs to because he had a whole stack of them and I think he'd want that done he'd want that music out there <laughs> 